Greetings, this is Jerry Revere from the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video will demonstrate the installation of the Avaya Aura Communication Manager Duplex VAP. It will also show the configuration of the Duplex Link and the initial Service Pack install. The video you are viewing will demonstrate the steps to install the Avaya Aura Communication Manager Duplex Server VAP into a VMware hypervisor. The steps demonstrated will be performed using the vSphere client and the vCenter server to perform the administration. The OVF wizard will be used to install the Communication Manager OVA file. That wizard will perform the provisioning of the network storage, defining the network interfaces to be used, and the management of the install. We will look at the configuration of the CM duplication link setup. After the install steps are completed on each of the duplex servers, the pair will be ready to be configured and provisioned. The CM duplex pair in the VMware environment requires a dedicated duplication link between two separate hypervisors. The hypervisor at each end of that link needs to have a dedicated virtual switch port mapped to a physical Ethernet port on the physical server. What is shown in the network adapters window on the left are the physical Ethernet ports on the hypervisor. We are using the physical port labeled VMNIC4 for our duplication link. The window on the right shows a mapping of the physical VMNIC4 to the standard switch V5 labeled Communication Manager Duplication Link or abbreviated CM Duplication Link. A configuration like what is shown has to be in place when installing the configuration of the OVA file. In preparation for the video, I have installed the first of the two CM duplex OVA templates. We will illustrate the process by installing the second of the OVAs. I have opened the vSphere client and logged into the vCenter server, which allows for administration of all the hypervisors controlled by this vCenter. The first step is to select a hypervisor. The hypervisor I have selected will be where this virtual machine will be installed. It is indicated on the left. The next step is to select the file menu and the choice of Deploy OVF Template. The Deploy OVF wizard opens and the first entry is where the Communication Manager OVA file is located. I have entered the HTTP link to the CM Duplex OVA file. Once selected, then press the Next button to advance to the next screen. The details of the OVA file are displayed. Press the Next button to advance. The license agreement is displayed. Press Accept and the Next button to advance to the naming of the virtual machine. I have given the virtual machine a unique name and press Next to select the storage configuration. We will use a network attached storage. I have selected the NAS unit and press Next, which provides a view of the available storage. Pressing Next advances to selecting the network interfaces. The Communication Manager Duplex install requires two interfaces to be set. There are the Management Interface and the Duplex Link. I have selected the Management Interface. The duplication link discussed earlier will be selected after the initial OVA installation completes. I have pressed Next to go to the summary screen. This screen summarizes the previous input. Validate the configuration. If all is correct, you would push Finish. You can use the Back button to adjust or to make changes. I have pushed the Finish button, which opens a status dialog to indicate the install progress. I will return after the install completes. The install is completed successfully, and I am closing the completion dialog. Next, we'll provision the duplex link explained earlier. Select the newly installed virtual machine and right-click to select the choice Edit Settings. This opens a Settings dialog. 
Select the Network Adapter 2, which is the bottom entry. That opens a panel on the right showing the specifics of that network adapter. On the bottom right of that panel, select the drop down and select the choice of CM underscore duplication link. This completes the first of the two OVA installs. The process will be repeated by selecting the duplication link on the second hypervisor that I previously installed. I have selected one of the virtual machines and have started it. I have then opened a console window to watch the booting process. The VM has completed booting and I have logged in as Craft. After addressing the initial questions, I have entered the IP information to bring the management interface online on the network. The interface has been restarted. I have now selected and started the second machine of the duplex pair. After it has booted, I have logged in and provisioned its management IP address following the same process as I did on the first server. Now that both virtual machines are on the network, we will look at installing the initial service pack. I will perform this on just one of the servers as the process is repeated exactly on the second. I have logged into the first virtual machine CM SMI page. I have entered into the server maintenance and selected the download file link. I have selected the upper radio button and then the browse button to locate the service pack on my hard disk. Selecting the file and pressing the download button passes the file to the target server. Selecting the manage update link, the patch downloaded is available. Selecting the radio button and unpack and extracts the contents of the patch. Pressing continue returns back to the manage updates dialog. The final step is to activate the service pack. Selecting the radio button and the activate button starts the process. As the patch install is completing, what you will do is repeat this process on the second server in the server pair. That concludes the video on the CM duplex OVA install. Please refer to the published white paper for any next steps that need to be followed. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.